If you have been paying the slightest bit of attention to YouTube drama, you have probably come across the drama between Coffee Break and Kurskis Act. And before I break down the entire thing, I think that it is important that I mention that I think that both Coffee Break and Kurskis Act are both in the wrong in their own way. However, I do understand their sides. Why am I making this video? Apart from just checking in on a popular subject for views. Well, I believe that Coffee Break is being unfairly treated by the general public's opinion. I believe a lot of people only look at it from Kurskis Act point of view and not Coffee Breaks. But before I get into that, I'll bring you up to date and explain the entire timeline. A big YouTuber known as Kurskis Act creates animation videos in which they explain complex topics in a short video. The pros of this format is that a lot more people can learn and understand these complex topics, and they are easier to understand once it's broken down like they do in their videos. The cons of this format is that sometimes this can lead to oversimplifications, and then even to misinformation. A video in particular is their video on addiction. In the video they tackled the subject of addiction and stated that some research show that addiction can be stopped purely by changing your environment. This is misinformation, because though there are some researchers that state that environment can be a huge factor to your addiction, no one is stating that it is the only factor for addiction. This is something a YouTuber known as Coffee Break decided he was going to cover. And in his research, he asked Kurskisact a bunch of questions over email. Kurskisact then put off answering the questions until a couple of weeks later, when he stated he was ready to do the interview. Coffee Break at the time did not have the time to respond, and then just days later, Kurskisact answered his questions in his own video titled Can You Trust Kurskisact Videos? Then, Coffee Break made a response video stating that Kurskisak manipulated him and put off answering the questions just to make his own video to gain respect. In the Can You Trust Kurskisak video, they addressed that they deleted two videos because they did not feel like the video held up to date. One of those videos was the addiction video. This caused Coffee Break to release a video called Trust, in a nutshell. In this video, Coffee Break said that Kurtisak purposefully stalled Coffee Break and rushed his own video to make the same video before he could. In Coffee Break's video, he also explains how this was frustrating, as he had spent a long time researching the topic. As his original video idea wasn't specifically about Kurtisak videos, but how simplifying a topic can lead to misinformation. Kurskisak then published the emails he had sent to Coffee Break, and it was clear that Coffee Break's paraphrasing of Kurskisak's emails were actually misrepresenting what Kurskisak actually said. This caused popular YouTuber Philip DeFranco to make a video on this. And in the first part of the video, he does a great job of explaining the entire story, as he usually does. The issue with Philip's video is his lack of knowledge of Coffee Breaks' previous work. And most of the general public holds the same views as Philip. Coffee Break is a drama channel only seeking to make a hit piece on Kirsch's Act. The issue with this is that this isn't the case. Coffee Break is not a drama channel. His channel does well-researched videos on a wide variety of interesting topics. Philip also makes this statement, which actually caused me to make this entire video in the first place. To me, this seems like another example of a mid-tier YouTuber trying to generate mob mentality and a lot of anger to take down someone bigger to pull in their own new subscribers. Mr. Madison, what you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. 
Coffee Break is not a mid-tier YouTuber. He is, in my opinion, one of the greatest content creators on the entire platform. And his channel is run by only one person. His content is well researched, well edited and well put together. This makes for great informational and interesting videos. Philip DeFranco you are good at what you do, but calling Coffee Break a mid-tier YouTuber who only seeks subscribers is ignorant and shows that you have no clue who Coffee Break actually is. And that leads us to the comments, who almost all side with Philip and Kurskazakt. Here, I'll go over a couple of the comments and sort of respond to them. The whole Kurskazakt thing is dumb. Sure, he made mistakes. Everyone does. People like oversimplification to help them wrap their head around a complex topic and help get some insight about it. Most people who watch videos like this may spread the information, but it's not like they are doing scientific research with the misinformation acquired from a YouTube video. I think he was a bigger person by standing up and openly admitting that he was wrong on his channel where the information is actually consumed. It's exactly what you said, a small time YouTuber trying to ride someone else's fame and career to the top. I actually agree with uh, some parts of this comment, like particularly uh, the part about, you know, spreading or correcting the information where the information is actually, actually consumed. Uh, but Saying that it is a small time YouTuber trying to ride someone else's fame and career to the top I think is a bit ridiculous because if he was just trying to get a hit piece and just trying to get a gotcha moment on his YouTube channel then he probably would not have even reached out to uh, Kurskis Act. He probably would have just made the video. But as I've stated before, because Coffee Break is such a great channel who try to make informational videos that actually mean something he went and you know reached out to the person to try to give an interview and that in my opinion is just proof that he actually cares about his videos and he isn't just a small time youtuber trying to write someone else's fame here's another comment trust an original content creating channel or trust another smirky chair sitting critique slash drama dude. The issue here is that he is not a critique slash drama dude. He does criticize some people, but that does not define his entire YouTube channel and his entire personality that he shows on YouTube. And this is just another example of a comment that basically just takes what they got from Philip DeFranco and just runs with a same opinion thinking that yeah well Philip said that he was a drama dude and uh, that he is just another example of somebody trying to get a hit piece on a bigger youtuber so therefore it must be true so that's why this guy comments that you know this is just another smirky critique drama dude and this ties in with what I said earlier about the entire narrative being that you know Kurt act only made one mistake and that this Coffee Break guy is a real bad guy who only makes bad content to try to use others to try to get views. But that isn't the case at all. And just because he made one critique slash drama video does not mean that he is a critique slash drama dude. Steven or Coffee Break seems like someone that wants to piggyback on the success of Kurskis Act and also seems prone to lying. Good to know, no need to ever watch his content. To avoid just repeating myself over and over again about how Coffee Break isn't a, such a bad channel, imagine if the thing was reversed, you know, imagine a person commenting, well, Kurskizak just seems a guy who doesn't look at proper research and does oversimplification and mis misleads people. Well, good to know, no need to ever watch his content. You see how no one is commenting that? Well, that is because for Kurskizak, people understand that that was just one or two videos where they made a mistake and for Kurskizak people understand that that was just one or two mistakes uh, particular to those videos and they don't think that that defines Kurskizak's entire channel 
Yet that is what people are doing. They think, oh, he made one drama video, that means he is a drama channel who just wants to pull others down and try to get successful by doing that, when that isn't the case at all. Another issue I have with the general public's opinion is that everyone is defending Kurskis Act under the guideline that we all make mistakes. Yet no one seems to be giving the same treatment to Coffee Break. I see lots of people in the comments stating that these were just two videos of Kurskis Act, many many videos, and yet the same thing could be said for Coffee Break. This is just one video he made to call out Kurskis Act, yet people are acting as if, yeah, he's a mid-tier YouTuber who only seeks subscribers and just tries to bring others down with no research behind it whatsoever. But if this was the case, then he would not even have reached out to Kurskis Act for his response. He would have just made a video calling out the problem with the addiction video that Kurskis Act has made. To conclude, I think that Kurskis Act is wrong for not telling Coffee Break about his video. I also believe that Coffee Break is wrong for misrepresenting some of Kurskis Act's emails. And lastly, I believe that Philip DeFranco is wrong for summarizing Coffee Break's entire channel and personality by just this one unusual video. In other words, I think they are all wrong in their own way. And Coffee Break deserves to be critiqued by some things to a certain level, but not to the extent and by all the things that he has been critiqued for. And that is my defense of Coffee Break.